We had a storm start here Monday night, I believe it was, and that's when, I'm not even sure how much water we, we received in the area, but there was enough water to have the Bad River rise beyond its record stages by, I believe, five feet. And by morning, we woke up to uh, multiple bridges were out, culverts and roads were washed away. Uh, we had water over bridges that were still there. We still, we had water over all of them. Uh, can you tell me what happened here today? Uh, we had a large uh, rainfall last night. It caused flash flooding. We had probably, I'd have to say, at least two feet of water coming over the bridge. Over the evening hours, it slowly wore away the road and the bridge collapsed. There was two cars. There was one there and the one in front where it got swept away down the stream. And, it, it, and he was able to get out of the car and climb up the railing and, it, and there was a female tribal elder trapped in the car. He was able to rescue her out of the car and they were able to crawl across here. He was telling her not to look down, no one step in the water or else he would get swept away down the stream. And they were able to miraculously survive and, not, and none of them were injured at all. US-2 was covered approximately a total of about a half a mile uh, underwater of flowing water. So that was day one. The next day we started getting crews in to start assessing it. We had the DOT come in and started working on Denemy Creek Bridge on US-2, which was a major washout. And my understanding is hopefully today, day three, that they will have that open today. Uh, US-2 had suffered uh, some washout along the highway and they are assessing that right now and working with uh, between the state and the county to make those repairs. The Coggin Bridge right here suffered some washouts and they are hoping to be able to start working on those washouts today. The breading center, the donations uh, from the bread. That's all I know. This is Harry Bell. And I'm gonna go right. Oh, there you carry some stuff too? Yep, yep. Stuff can be put in there too. Any more boxes? Here's some. I wouldn't take any more boxes in this one. Oh, she had a birthday right in the middle of all of this. So did our other co worker, Jamie. Yeah, right on the day of the. Yep. these going? All over the community, on the, is it the east side? East side of the bridge. No. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. All righty. Thank you. Yep. Can I ask you if you needed anything? No. Oh, hold on. Let me go get my paper. I'm good. Okay. Okay. Um, so, do you guys need anything? Toilet paper, milk, bread? No. Okay, we're good. Okay, and they are making soup and stuff over at the center. Uh, we did have to rescue some people out of their homes yesterday on day two uh, as water was starting to enter some homes uh, and those were all successful rescues. As far as I know, uh, 
At this point, we have not had any injuries, fatalities, or anything related to the storm due to that. Um, I do want to thank the National Guard for bringing their Blackhawk yesterday to get our dialysis patients out. Uh, that was amazing. And of course, a big event for our small community. Uh, we normally don't get to see things like that, so that was very incredible and very, very appreciated. So just, just the way our community is coming together. If you weren't on this helicopter and had to drive, oh, what would that be like? It would probably be like a four and a half hour trip all the way around through uh, Hurley. It's pretty big. We, we went and the whole road was closed, me and my mother, and there was no way around it. We just went through there the, other, uh, the day before and uh, we went to the Walmart to get tarps because our, our ceiling collapsed and everything. So we got that all settled up. And, um, and now I guess the bridge is out after the Bad River Dam because the floodwaters and the swamp. And here at day three, the DOT is very optimistic on being able to get US 2 open for us soon. We're not, we don't have an exact deadline, but uh, hopefully really soon, maybe through the weekend. Yeah. Is it? Oh, she got video footage on her thing when it was going on. Raw sewage flowing out of my mom's bathroom. Toilet paper, paper. Everything's floating, anything in cot. No, but I don't know if they're telling them. You know, stay out of your house so we can get in there and inspect it. We'll have somebody come and clean your house. We'll do this, we'll do that. I don't think anyone's telling these people that. And they're just... All the maintenance guys are trying to do what they can. They're mentioning some of that stuff as far as what I know. And, you know, I'm out there mentioning to mention it to homeowners too but there's only so much you can do with keeping right, homeowners off of their property and you yeah. know they want to get back to some of their belongings as well and right. start sifting through some of that stuff. Uh, sorry about that, what was that? I said there's This meeting this morning, why was that so important? Well it's really important to to have that meeting in the morning, our morning briefing so that we can make sure not just one person is looking at it and missing something so that we can make sure we're utilizing all our resources to accomplish our goals uh, for each day. And everybody that comes to the table has different resources and different concerns so that we can all be on the same page and address all those issues. So that's why we have to get our part done and there's, they want to submit to get a presidential declaration. So we have to meet a threshold of eight to nine million dollars within Ashland County. So with just Bad River and I would think the town of Sanborn, that's probably going to get us there because we've got so much road damage. All right, with all the heavy rains that we got, that you can see that a lot of the water ran down the incline here, ended up going into the the small creek or whatever it was that was here, and that all the water built up, and water from any of the like beaver ponds it probably contributed 
creeks or whatever, all the water come down this way and washed out the culvert. And this is probably the largest thing I've ever had to command. And uh, I'm just thankful that I have good staff and a lot of good people to work with. That's really what uh, is getting us through. I, I'm just so proud that our people are coming together and working to, to help everybody. We're working as hard as we can and doing what we can under these circumstances. You know, the community is, is, is really good when, when stuff like this happens. They come together. Everybody helps everybody. And, and it, it's been like that for as long as I can remember. You know, the, uh, I wasn't worried too much about that because I knew that's what would happen, you know, with our people. Um, they take care of one another.